Shift. Chagas is, a, is an infectious disease uh, transmitted by a kissing bug, the bite of a kissing bug. And the kissing bug looks a little bit like a cockroach, but it has the ability to feed on blood. And it lives in the very poor quality dwellings. Dr. Peter Hortes is dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine in Texas. He says a serious heart infection caused by the Chagas trypanosome parasite now affects a million people in the United States and more than six million in Mexico. But he and his colleagues believe that the disease is often overlooked. It's a disease that could be associated with uh, severe heart disease, uh, oftentimes aneurysms, and even electrical disturbances and sudden death. So that if someone dies from what uh, oftentimes physicians or healthcare providers in, the, in Texas might think is a heart attack, it's in fact maybe uh, Chagas disease. Researchers say they are trying to understand the full extent of many of the debilitating tropical infections in the region. For example, cystocercosis is now one of the major causes of epilepsy in children in Texas and California. The report notes that another tropical disease, dengue fever, is an emerging problem from Texas to Florida. It's called bone break fever. And it gets that moniker for good reason. It causes severe pain in the joints and the bones. It's a rash and it's a very severe fever. It can last for seven days and totally lay you out. Dr. But Dan Stinchcomb is the chief today. executive officer of Inviragen, which is developing a vaccine against the multiple dengue viruses. So in order for a vaccine to be safe and effective, it has to be able to induce a neutralizing antibody response, an antibody response that will knock out the virus for four different viruses simultaneously. Researchers recommend developing a new generation of diagnostics and drugs to detect and control tropical diseases in the U.S. Dr. Hortis says there is also an urgent need to educate public health workers, cardiologists and obstetricians about the growing incidence of these neglected infections. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.